I'm not one to tell you that. I don't do that on this platform. What I am saying is that they need to stop with the intimidation tactics. They they need to stop with the scare tactics. They need to stop telling you that if you don't vote for me, then you ain't black. They need to stop telling you that that that, that you if you don't vote for us, you're gonna die. You know, in fact, let me just get let me lay something out. I'm a, I said this on my Twitter. My Twitter is Dr. Boyce Watkins one, Dr. Boyce Watkins in the number one. Feel free to follow. Please follow. I'm I'm actually begging you to follow me on Twitter because I like having intelligent people on my Twitter feed. I get tired of just. I, I don't I'm not going to some people I just won't even debate with. I, I just won't because because if you come with stupid energy, I ain't got time for you. So I'd rather have intelligent people around that will explore new ideas. But let me lay something out. I mentioned this on Twitter. No black person has ever voted for for a Democrat. No African-American in history has ever voted for a Democrat. Let me say it again. No African-American person has ever voted for a Democrat. Now, we think black people vote for Democrats, but you're really not voting for a Democrat. The way these elections are structured, you're never voting for the Democrat. You're voting against the Republican. That's what you're doing. I want you all to really this is for people that want to think critically about this. I want you to do a critical analysis one day and pay a close attention to how they convince you to vote for them. They never say, hey, vote for us. This is our track record. They don't give you their track record because they ain't really got one. Uh, hey, vote for us because this is what we're going to do for you. They don't they don't promise you anything because they're not going to really do anything except for things that they're already going to do for other white people. And then they they include you in the mix that through these, you know, this uh, watered down diversification not, or diversity nonsense. Uh, they, they don't do any of those things. What they'll do is they'll say Project 2025. Look up Project 2025. Or if Trump gets in office, it's going to destroy democracy. It, that That's what they do. That they, they come in and they and they pretty much. Uh, they pretty much scare you. They scare you into, and they tell you how terrible the other person is. And so at the end of the day, you end up voting for the lesser of two evils. And what I find really fascinating is, uh, especially I'm really confused by our friends who are in the black church. I love the black church. I, I, I stand up for the black church on a regular basis. I, I don't let people beat up on the black church because I think the black church, theoretically, when it's done right, is one of the greatest institutions in America. I really believe that for churches that are really trying to be progressive and strong in a meaningful way. Now, churches that are trying to be trendy and, you know, in there doing all kinds of crazy stuff, I, I don't understand you as much. But for the churches that are really understanding the role and the function that, that a church can play in a community, uh, I, I really have a lot of admiration for that. But one of the things that confuses me about the church is that I don't think most churches are really trying to worship God. I don't think most black churches nor most black pastors pastors are really worshiping God. I think most black churches are worshiping the Democratic Party because the Democratic Party is the only institution. Pay attention now. The Democratic Party is the only institution that can convince you to quickly and immediately support policies that deviate from God. And again, I'm, I don't even go to church, so I'm not a Bible thumper saying this or anything like that. I'm not uh, I'm not Mr. Fire and Brimstone. I, I can't quote a Bible. I, I can't quote a Bible verse as quick as I could, could quote a lap, rap lyric. OK, so don't think I am a Bible carrying uh, church goer in this. But one thing I'm going to say about my friends in the black church is I, I, my question would always be, what's your standard? Do you even have a standard? Because, you know, there there are people who say, well, you know, the Bible talks about some of this stuff, you know, when you bring up, say, LGBT, there are people who say, well, you know, the Bible actually addresses this issue on multiple occasions. But then because the Democratic Party says it's OK, your pastor is telling you, no, 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 we still got to vote for this person, despite the fact that it deviates from the Bible. And then and then you go into other areas, whether maybe you talk about something like, um, you know, pro-choice versus pro-life, right? The right to choose. Well, there are people who say, well, you know, the Bible has you know, the Ten Commandments, do not kill all that. And then but then and I'm not saying that you can't vote how you want. I understand it's complicated. Right. There are there are, are, are complex reasons why we make the choices we make. But what I find so, so fascinating is how some of my friends who go to church every Sunday will instantly sprint away from the Bible <laughs> so they can run with the Democrats. So in the in, in some of our churches, not all of them, but in some of our churches, they need to take. Uh, Jesus off the wall. They need to take down all references to God and just replace the word God with Democrat. Just replace the picture of Jesus with the picture of Joe Biden or or Kamala, Kamala or something like that or Barack. I, I, I saw a lady who literally told me she was going to take her picture of Barack and put it next to her picture of Jesus because that's what it is. That That's what's very confusing to me 
And what I don't understand, here's what I here's what I have an issue. With. I don't have an issue with my friends in the church who vote for the Democrats. I understand why you do that. What I have an issue with is why you don't understand why someone else sitting next to you in church might say, you know, I want to be a Republican or I or I want to be independent. I see that's my thing. It's not about what you do. I don't have a problem with what you do. Give me a guess if you understand. I'm not here to judge anybody's choice. Like can can we agree on that? Cuz I want to make sure I make this point clear because it gets misinterpreted all the time. People run around, Dr. Boyce is telling everybody to become Republicans. Dr. Boyce is telling people not to vote. Give me a yes if you understand that I'm doing neither one of these things right now. Like, give me a yes if we can agree and if I if you do, we don't agree, then I can keep on hammering my point home. I want to make sure that's clear, okay? What I'm saying is I don't have an issue with the choice you make. I have an issue with your issue with the choices that other people make. I, I don't have an issue with the fact that you're choosing to go and follow along with whatever Kamala or Biden tells you to do. I understand why. I get it. What I have a problem with is when you turn to your cousin who says, "Nah, you know what? Uh, I, I want to be a Republican and you want to call him a sellout or a race trader. When literally that is the pot calling the kettle black. I mean, if he wanted to turn around and call you a race trader for for riding Joe Biden's testicles and being up a Democrat's butt your whole entire life without asking any questions, he could do the same thing. But he's not doing that to you. So here's what I'm saying to you. And this is a simple idea. And I think we can agree on this point. You cannot debate me on this point. You know, I, I want black people to just be free. That's it. I just want you to be free. I want you to be able to make whatever choice you make without anybody persecuting you. For the decision that you made. So when I had when I talk to my Democratic Party friends, I hear exactly what they're saying. I listen to them carefully. They tell me that they believe uh, in the right to choose. I say, OK, that's your right. And then they tell me how they feel about Kamala being elected and how proud they are to see a, a woman of color in the White House. Uh, she's black. She's not African-American, but she is black. Uh, you know, so whatever she's not. But she's not African-American, like descendant of slavery, African-American. Those are two different things. But she is somebody you can relate to because she went to Howard. She knows how to, she was in the steps shows and all that so so she understands something about our culture i and i get all that i understand all that what i also hear from my conservative friends is i hear my conservative friends who say you know i'm not down for all this lgbt stuff because i believe in the bible and the bible tells me that, that there are boundaries on behavior that this is not something that's acceptable i say okay i hear that and, and then they'll say well you know and then also abortion like i talked to my friend angela stanton king uh, who runs uh, Angie's house. Shout out to Angie's house. I hope you all look it up and make a donation because what Angie Angela Stanton King does that I admire and respect immensely is she doesn't just tell you to be pro-life. She actually supports women when they give birth to little babies. She gives them a place to live. And I make donations regularly. Every month I make a donation to Angie's house because in my head, I feel like I am one of those little children. I am one of those little big head boys walking around here, two, three years old uh, with a single mama or whatever. That was me. So I, I make donations because I respect what she's doing. Half y'all talk a lot of shit, but don't do anything. Don't support anything. Don't put any work in. Don't do anything for the community. But you got everything to say about what somebody else is and they ain't doing. And, and, and then also what is really fascinating to me is with all the priority we put on these elections, I simply do not understand why it becomes more important than what's happening in your own community. So one thing I'm going to tell you straight up, point blank period, I'm going to reiterate this point to the day I die, is that I am not a Democrat. I'm not a Democrat. I, I, 